Tutorial number 80, creating your first assembly and inserting components. We made this part and um, part two and part one in the previous tutorial. And now let's start a product or an assembly. To start a product, we can go to the mechanical design, assembly design, or file new product. Let's select product. Okay. And we have product one. And we said that it has its own workbench tools. In this tutorial, we're going to show you to how to insert components. And now let's show these icons, existing component and existing component with positioning. And from the names, you can understand the difference between two icons. This one you just insert, you cannot move it up like that when you insert your new component and here you have chance to move your component now let's show you how to use these two icons first this insert component and here you have to select where to insert it on this product one and now you are able to browse your part which is called part one and now let's insert part two with the same icon existing component choose product one part two and it will just insert it and you are not able to move this again insert part two with existing with positioning let's click here part one part two okay you will notice this window is open for you and here you can choose the directions and where to add your positioning even you have more options here automatic constraint creation and just keep it unchecked for now you can just select where to place your part we selected this surface and now you are able to move your part where you want to add it. I can, for example, make it parallel to this surface. And here you have these arrows where you can reverse your direction of your part. So when you are done with your positioning, you click okay so this is a very basic assembly to give you a start in using assemblies and inserting components